There's a sense in which every two-note chord naturally lives on a Mobius strip. Here, we're not going to draw any distinction between octaves, so we'll naturally think of all of the musical notes as living on a circle, like this. So every two-note chord effectively looks like an unordered pair of points on this circle. And the question is, what mathematical space describes that? You might start by labeling all of the points on a loop with values ranging from 0 to 1. Because it's a loop, it ends where it starts, so the labels 0 and 1 would have to really refer to the same point. Then, a pair of points would have a pair of numerical labels that you could think of as xy coordinates, describing some single point in this unit square here of the xy plane. But again, because 0 and 1 really refer to the same point, what you should do is glue this left edge of the square to the right edge, since really they refer to the same thing. Likewise, you'd want to glue the bottom edge to the top edge, since y coordinates of 0 and 1 are really the same thing. And when you glue all of those together, what you end up with is the surface of a donut, known as a torus. But this isn't really the answer that I want. What I asked for was an object that encodes unordered pairs of points. That is, if you swap the two points, like swapping two musical notes, it should really be considered the same thing. In our unit square, if you glue every point with coordinates x, y to the point y, x, what it looks like is folding along this diagonal. After that, you still have to glue the arrows together as a way to remember that 0 and 1 refer to the same thing. But now it feels impossible. The trick is to cut along another diagonal, adding new arrows when you do to remember to glue it back together. This lets you glue those purple arrows, and now to stitch together the remaining ones, you need to introduce a half twist. So the true answer here is a Mobius strip. This was a construction that came up in a recent video, where we use this fact that Mobius strips naturally encode unordered pairs of points in a genuine mathematical proof, and it's related to a classic unsolved problem.